I just realized that I recorded a whole video and I almost forgot to upload it. Filming this quick intro, I have three more sets of 185, but this video, I was walking downtown with my little friend, Bodie, and we saw these two girls. Uh, and it was strange when we first like, walked up because we saw them approach a group of people and we saw the people kind of run away. And we were like, I was like, why would people run away from cute girls? Like people always want to talk to cute girls. And then we walked up in there preaching the gospel. Now for me, I always, I love engaging with people who want to challenge their own ideas and who want to you know, have a conversation about such subject. I ran into some more of their group later. So I'll, I'll probably upload that as a part two, but that one's like kind of unfinished because Bodhi stopped recording in the middle. But this one is, Basically the full conversation. It's not my normal content, but let me know if you're interested in it. Without further ado, I'll give you this video. Let me know what you think. See ya. What are we doing? Okay, so. <laughs> okay. These two girls. Nice girls. Same What's your by. name? I'm Sarah. Sarah? Sarah? I'm Anna. Anna. Sarah and Anna, like, uh, well, I think of uh, Frozen. Yeah. There they go. But Close. you don't even sing that? Yeah, I think Close of Frozen. Enough. Sarah and Anna. Okay, I'll, wholesome. I'll right, hold awesome. How old are you both? You're 22? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> How old are you? 18. Wow. Okay. Well, we're so, I'm so used to seeing high school. Like, he's, well, he's 13. 13, 14 yeah. almost. Everybody is young around here. And you, yeah. Well, that's nice. You guys look young. I know. We get that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, they just gave us these little things to, to read in your it's free time. A Check it out. Note from God. It's a nice little overview. What's your, um, Hmm. If you had to, what's the biggest thing that Jesus or religion gives you in your life that you think that maybe people that don't have your belief don't have? I would say just peace and like you know, the assurance of salvation is like knowing where you're going. Like when this life is over, do you ever wonder like, you know, what's next? Is there anything? Are you just going into the ground? Is there more? I feel like there's a reborn. I feel like you get born again. It's one of those, like, I don't know, mm -hmm. but it's like, I don't know what's going to happen. Like when I walk down there, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. There might, it might be meet my wife. I might die. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. These things. For me, it's like, but, I would rather live my life, you know, as if there was a God. And then at the end, find out that there is one instead of, you know, living my life as if there wasn't a God. And then at the end, regret that I have not made the choice to follow God. And for me, like, I have clearly seen Jesus work in my life. And so... When you experience that, you... You gotta hold it. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> frame it. Am I in the frame? Do you even know? Do you even know? I mean, I'm, I'm framing the person when who's you talking. you experience the love of Jesus Christ, you know that it's real. You know, you know, and you have that desire to be saved, to be with God for eternity. I like that. Have you heard of Pascal's Wager? Pascal's Wager. I am not. Okay. I well, that's like the philosophical uh, uh, phrase for what you just described. Yeah. Like you should live like there is a God because if there isn't one then who cares but if there is one then you're then you're uh, effed but there are also sh a shit ton of religions mm -hmm. so for me I'm like well which one like I could you could you know what if mm -hmm. the Muslims are I mean, it's the same God but like you didn't follow it's, their belief system it's not, it's not, not the, the same, same God. God it is not there's one God one real God and Everyone will find that out. Well, Jesus Christ. so if you study the Muslims, they actually do believe in the Bible. They just think um, that um, they just sorry. think that Muhammad was a. Uh, sorry. I'm and they, and they do not believe that Jesus Christ is God, which is what the gospel is all about. But they believe in the same like head head head. Well, you know. I think they believe that um, Allah is God. Mm -hmm. It's and a different Jesus, word for Jesus was a prophet, but Jesus yeah. was not like our our faith hinges on Jesus coming here, being crucified for our sin, taking that away. And if you take that away, then that takes the whole faith away. Like mm. that is the cornerstone of our faith is Jesus Christ. So you take that away and make him just a prophet, and that's it's not mm. that's not what we believe in. That's not what's the saving power in Christ. Okay, so it, so it is. Um, of course, it's a different religion. But then the question is like, well, yeah, how do you know? There's literally. And there's thousands of even Christian denominations, and they be, believe completely different things. How do you know? What is the thing? Well, see, what? the Bible does talk that there are, there are going to be many false prophets, you know, but... All the religions say something like that, but how do you know which one is real? 
And even, you know, there's a part in the Bible where, like, the, the devil has superpowers as well. And he can trick people. So it's like, how do you know that? And, and even the Christian God did, did a lot of fucked up shit. He walked over. You know the, the story of uh, Isaiah, Isaac and his son? Isaiah? Isaac and his son. It's, it's when, the, when he was yeah, where he, to yeah, where he told his son, where he told the guy yeah go up to the mountain and sacrifice mm -hmm. your son that is uh, rough and if I got if I heard that thought in my head I would not think oh, this is the all powerful loving being of the universe that's coming to communicate with me I would think like I need to go get therapy I need some because this person <laughs> that I love is like I'm being told to murder them so I don't know how you tell the, so there's a lot of situations where you know the devil was saying. You know, even in the beginning where God was like, you will die if you eat the fruit. Mm -hmm. And and the devil was like, no, you're actually not going to die. You're, and so so one person was telling the truth. One person was lying. So how do you know who is the thing? Even even in their own religion. And then how do you know kind of as far as all religions? So there's two questions. I don't know. All right. So, well, the enemy, he does have some power here on this on earth. earth. But God still rules over that, and nothing that He does can go against God's will. Like God has to allow the devil. Personally, coming from my opinion, I'm not like I don't really believe in like God and stuff. But I don't like I don't really care if I had a friend who believes in God, and if like they do, that's not a problem. Like it's your choice to believe in what you believe in. Yeah. Me, I'm kind of an atheist. Like I don't believe in. God, but obviously there's some parts in the Bible. I've never actually read the Bible. I grew up I grew up super Christian, so we're like I can't tell. I've never read the Bible. Yeah, I'm like uh yeah, I know I've read I have a Bible at my house, like I read it all you know, it's a it's a wild book. There's some good stuff in there. I like some of the stuff that Jesus said. Like Jesus is a um I think Jesus did figure something else out. I don't think he was God, but I think he figured some I think he understood some stuff. He's like a Buddha-esque figure to me. Like he was, he got to like a place of enlightenment or understanding about the world and he communicated that with people. And I think over time, like, you know, people get like deified or lionized, you know, after a hundred years, thousand years or whatever. So then do you believe that Jesus died and like rose again? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. There I mean, I think he died. There's a lot of historical evidence too. I think there, yeah. They, yeah. I Even think, historians like, Confirmed that Jesus was a real person, and there's like you cannot disprove that he actually. I wouldn't did say that. I would never again. say that he wasn't a real person, but I would just I I don't know about the the magic part. If if you actually would like 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 a movie, you know, like not like a boring documentary. There's a movie called The Case for Christ. Yeah, by Lee Strobel. Yes, it's incredible. Professional. <laughs> if you guys have the time to. Watch I watched that. it. I have a reaction on my YouTube. I didn't. Oh, like, it's post incredible. It. Like it really shows the evidence. Like you can't disprove, you know. And it shows why and how and how Lee Strobel, you know, who was an atheist. We would, you know, it would be really fun because they have that movie on YouTube. I would love to watch it with Christians because, like, I mean, there's. They like they, they they start out they do that movie well but they like they ask some really good questions and then they either like don't fully answer it or they answer it in like a way that's not like if you're doing philosophy if you're doing if you're writing a book if you're do doing it you're no sorry that's not the that's still a really good question that you asked and we just I'm sure dropped it. Book, he probably goes into more since it's a movie. I don't know. If it is a movie. Go. You know, I didn't. I did not read the book. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I did not read. The Even book. better than his book is the Bible. So whatever he didn't include in his book, that the Bible, Bible, the Bible. Even answers. just Genesis. Have you read the full book? Yes, cover to cover. Cover to cover. My goodness. I think I. Well, well, I've read, couple, couple, couple I didn't more. read it in order, but I feel like I, you know, read the whole thing at some point. Yeah. I'll ask you like two more questions, just in general, just about like some of the more wild things that I read in there. So Noah, Noah's Ark, right? Yeah, right. Okay, humans are flawed. We are sinful automatically, yes. and Jesus, they, God knows that. But mm -hmm. still, they're, we're still so sinful that He just. What's the point of killing everybody? That doesn't make sense to me, because everybody is still sinful after. It's not like they cured the sin. And he already knew everybody was sinful. And same with Sodom and Gomorrah, like two situations where like humans are doing bad things. We always have been and we always will by nature. But in those two situations, he decided to like commit mass murder of, you know, millions of people. And that doesn't make sense to me. And I read that and I'm like, oh, well, I don't understand that. Maybe you can, I don't know if you've thought about that. Chris, can you 
keep in mind the context that that was in the Old Testament, you know, and um, pre-Jesus Christ. Well, I'm just even, I mean, just like logically, I'm like, if there's a, I'm just, just there's an all loving, you're telling me there's, and, and I, I'm even, I wouldn't even say like, I'm a, I'm more like spiritual. Like, I don't know. I don't know. In between. I'm open. Yeah. I'm like, I do yoga. Like there's kind of a oneness. I felt, I've had some spiritual experiences. There's like a oneness. You look at some people and you're like, you kind of see yourself and, and when your mind is shut down, you really do feel like this almost religious feeling connection with everything and it's beautiful uh so i would say i'm more into that but if and so i feel that and i understand yeah. that and that's like if there is a god i understand like it's god to me but you're telling me like that is also like million god. people dead because of their nature i mean it doesn't like i'm like that isn't god jesus is, would jesus wouldn't do that god is portrayed you know by some people as this overly god is love only god only wants you God wants the best for you. God wants to make you rich, wealthy, happy, all these things. But they leave out the rest of the Bible that says that God is also a God of wrath. He's perfect and holy and no city can stand in his face ever. If you come before God, sin is, you will die right away they because he's so holy. They weren't coming that's, in his face. I mean, they're the, just living their the life. That's why the solution is literally Jesus came, took now, our sin. We don't have, Jesus is not going to kill us again. Until the day he comes back, you still have a chance, chance you know and but until Jesus then like that's it. it and i feel like the weight of that is enough to go home and think like am i sure that i don't believe this because once it's too late it's too late and we like we want you we want everyone to know like you know we don't want to force you into thinking anything but yeah. like we're calling you to seriously consider the weight you know of this life yeah. we only have one to live you know and once you get to the end it's the end and one there was one man who paid the price for all of us so that you don't have to it's be free killed for your to sin. everyone. You don't have to do anything, take anything. It's not works that gets you into heaven. It's one man. It's just Jesus faith Christ. in Jesus Christ. So All right. Thank you. It's very simple. Thank you, you for sharing your message. If, if you I, took the tract, if, I, I, don't know. I did. I, I took. Uh, I have one. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> I have one, and here's the other one. It's a really quick read. Just yeah. read it quick for us. <laughs> yeah. You guys have a very you good day. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you both. God bless you guys. What are your guys' names? I'm Bodhi. I'm Bodhi, and, and my name is Chi. Or he's Bodhi. My name is Chi. I'm Bodhi. Wait, and the last question: What do you think of the rompers? What, what do you think of rompers? Rompers. I honestly Man didn't rompers. notice that it was a romper at first. I thought it was just like a matching shirt. I'm, I'm sure it gives you a nice breeze. It does. It does. Would you ever wear a romper? Okay. Would you ever wear a a women's one? Women's one. I've worn one. I do. Yeah, do I? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. All right. All right. It was good to see you guys. Yes. God bless you. God bless you guys. Have a good day. You too. Wasn't that hell of an experience? It was very nice. It's nice to like see me. Like as I said, I don't really believe in like God. I definitely am not like I'm gonna hate on people that are Christian. I don't really care if I had a friend who's Christian. I I'll still be friends with them like it's not as much it's not a big deal like if you do have like some sort of problem with god and just saying like oh my god god's stupid like why do you believe in him like i'm not gonna judge somebody for what they believe in anybody can believe in what they want to believe in it's just me myself i don't personally believe in god but let's get back to doing what we're doing